U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has arrived in Jordan. The top American diplomat will discuss ways to boost aid deliveries into Gaza during his trip. Blinken's trip to Amman comes after talks with Gulf Arab leaders in Riyadh, which is part of his seventh tour of the region since the October 7th attack by Hamas on Israel. The U.S. diplomat will also meet Jordan's King Abdullah II and Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi, as well as the United Nations Humanitarian Aid and Reconstruction Coordinator for Gaza, Sigrid Karg. Blinken will also be heading to Israel, where he will discuss the latest negotiations aimed at securing a temporary ceasefire and a release of hostages. President Joe Biden's administration, despite criticism abroad and rising fury on U.S. university campuses, has supported Israel in its relentless campaign against Hamas, but also urged its ally to do more to protect civilians. Biden warned that Israel, that or that the future support was at stake after an April 1st Israeli strike killed seven aid workers from World Central Kitchen. The United States said that Israel has since taken steps to avoid such deaths in the future, including coordinating more directly with aid groups working in Gaza. However, the situation remains dire in Gaza, where the vast majority of residents have fled their homes and the United Nations has warned of looming famine. The Biden administration is addressing the crisis by building a temporary pier to bring in aid. An extraordinary step to deal with concerns about a friendly country and major recipient of U.S. assistance. Jordan, which has diplomatic relations with Israel and a large Palestinian population, is especially sensitive to tensions in the Palestinian territories. Early in April, Jordan shot down Iranian drones fired at Israel in response to a deadly airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria. Jordan, while working with the United States, has insisted that it does not want to be caught in the middle of the conflict. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.